Juan is out there. I see Juan. Juan just walked across. All right, we have four, Maria. Do we have any speakers before we go? All right. Peter Katz, Abigail Aylman, and Tim Johnson. Go ahead, Peter. Yes, uh, Mr. Mayor and Council. Uh, I want to encourage you guys to go ahead with this lawsuit. The judge is kind of waiting for this lawsuit to uh, expand his jurisdiction over all 34 cities, which seem to be kicking this can down the road. I went to the Board of Supervisors meeting on Tuesday. There were nearly 50 people from Lake Forest to shoot down that project plan. And I was the only one defending the city of Santa Ana in front of that uh, Board of Supervisors. And no one's willing to find space here in, in any of these cities. So unless you do something, the, the judge is going to issue a temporary restraining order, and we're going to be right back at square one. Nobody's going to arrest nobody. You're going to have people on every street corner. And there's no reason. You had the, um, the, uh, the homeless czar talk about what it costs for wraparound services to get someone off the street. They're spending $26,666 a year per person that they get off the street with full wraparound services. Now, if you compare it to Los Angeles, as 4 million people. You already have 2 million people on support of housing, whether it's Section 8 housing, whether it's HUD vouchers, whether it's grants. But half the population of Los Angeles is already on subsidized housing. So if all 34 cities come together and found space in their cities to divide this population, we, we can do it. These people need help. You look at what happened in Ventura, where a, a, a father, 35-year-old father, was with his uh, daughter on his lap, five-year-old girl, eating lunch in broad daylight, was stabbed in the neck and died. You know, these people need help. We need to get them off the street. We need to provide the wraparound services, and we need to blend them into our community. They're not criminals, and they're not uh, gangsters and thugs like these people that come from these lily million dollar houses call these people. And speaker after speaker up there putting people down because they're down on their luck. And we cleaned up the Civic Center. What's happening now, they're being pushed out into the neighborhoods. And as they push these people out into the neighborhoods, we're going to have problems in our neighborhoods. And we don't want that again. We want to start getting people out of thank the neighborhoods. So, Abigail. Thank you. Good afternoon. Um, you know, I agree with him. You know, there should be something to be done here. It is no secret. This is, I'm reading this from the OC register. It is no secret that the high percentage of the drug addicted, jobless, and homeless urban campers were lured into Southern California by their colorful brochures offering drug rehab in a seaside coastal environment with easy access to the snowboarding, surfing, and other re rec recreational activities that SoCal has to offer. After moving into the expensive insurance funded so sober living homes, a number of these unfortunate addicts broke the house rules or failed treatment and were put out on the streets. According to a lawsuit that the city of Costa Mesa um, is against three of these sober living homes for operating illegally. So, you know, yeah, we're looking at cities, but we also need to look at these, you know, illegal uh, operating homes that, you know, they're pretty much just kicking them out. And now we have to deal with it. So you, I, go for it, guys. Thank you, Abigail. Go ahead, Mr. Johnson, and then Mr. Pham. Good evening. Thank you for your, your vote last week, but we haven't gone far enough. We need to include all the cities in Orange County in this litigation. Everyone needs to be pulled into Judge Carter's courtroom to be able to answer to, to him and to the, all the residents of Orange County. We need to be able to put some, some power, some litigation power behind our voices here in Santa Ana. I implore you to expand, expand your, the, the lawsuit to include all of the, the other cities that are, are not carrying their fair share. Uh, with regards to the, this homeless situation. I also would implore you to also consider um, pushing harder on what proportionality really means. I think those of us in, in Central and North County uh, are viewing proportionality from what we're hearing from Judge Carter 
as uh, based upon city population. Um, I think it's clear that the South County mayors and other South County uh, uh, folks are viewing por proportionality based upon their homeless point in time counts, um, which are far, far, uh, far from accurate, considering that uh, most of the folks that are in need of services in their, in their towns have been relocated up here to Central County and Santa Ana. So I'd implore you to not only extend your litigation, but also to reinforce what proportionality really means uh, with re this regard. I know it's expensive, I know there's fiscal concerns um, w with this, um, but it's a, this is money well spent, it's money spent up front that will uh, pay rewards in the end. So I ask that you please uh, d you know, lead your citizens in here in Santa Ana. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mr. Pham? Good evening, uh, Mayor and all. Uh, I should apologize first because this is not a forum that I usually uh, attend. Uh, it's not exactly my forte, but I think it's important enough to come down here uh, with my son to, um, to encourage you to please move forward and unite us. Unite all the cities and bring us all together uh, in order to find a resolution to this problem. Uh, we didn't get, this, uh, get to this place overnight and we didn't get to this place um, alone. Uh, other cities contributed to the problem. Um, but I think where we've gone, where, where, where have you been with um, cleaning up the riverbed, with cleaning up the square, is uh, an accomplishment that we can all be really proud of as a collective, as a whole. Um, but where we are now is trying to figure out uh, how to move forward. And I think uh, how we're going to move forward is not alone. We have to move forward together with the other cities. Uh, because it takes a village, and uh, we need to do this as a collective. And um, I think that in, um, in these times, we see that we are in um, a state of crisis, uh, in a state of where uh, we, we see things that are really monumental, but when we reflect back on it in the future, it is actually an opportunity, an opportunity that you can make change, and I hope that you can do so it, with uh, representing us, you know, uh, and we believe in you. Thank you. Thank you. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and adjourn us and go into closed session.
Uh, good evening, Mayor and Council. Uh, by a 6-0 vote, um, Councilman Tina Harrow absent. The City Council of Santa Ana has authorized the filing of a cross-complaint against all cities in Orange County and the County of Orange over the impacts of homelessness in the City of Santa Ana. Thank you. So this meeting is adjourned.